Okay, I got a lot of people who ask me about my bike, you know, when I go fishing. They're like, how'd you do that? How'd you do that? Well, I'm going to show you. This is uh, one of those cruiser, beach cruiser bikes. And all I did was attach a piece of wood to it. Uh, you can see how I did it right there. To the back. And then I put it on the, on the spring bar that's right here. And um, basically, I used tent poles that I had. I had an extra tent somewhere in my house and just used the poles to make the stand and I just screwed it into that added piece of wood and then I did um, milk crates I just cut down some milk crates real quick made some rod holders like this that way I don't have to add extra pipes anywhere and that was about it and for the front same deal I just strapped it to the front um, you see where the screw comes in through here I think that's where the brake used to be well there it is right there I just added that same deal tent poles coming up I had to drill through the bike so for some reason this was on the wrong side I don't know if you can see that. that's on the wrong side so I just did it like that and I came up and just screwed it through I forgot to add a washer that's why it's starting to crack but oh well no crates are everywhere you know so holds a lot of weight it's pretty good that's my first bike the second one, when I got to go longer distance, I use this bike. Now this one looks a little more messed up, but it's, it's still good. It um, I cut out the milk crate here because I use a larger cooler because I'm going to need, you know, take food and drinks. Had to drill through the bike again. Same deal, tent poles. Instead of using a piece of plywood on the bottom, I just added three pieces of wood. Came through and attached it to the bike itself. I mean, it's pretty sturdy, holds a lot of weight. And if I have to go far, this is the bike I'd use. If I'm going like a mile or so, you know, like one mile trip, this is the bike I use. And that's it. See you on the next one.